And the lottery bill passed in the Senate Friday, but it has a long way to go before Alabamians can play. WVUA 23's Madison McLean joins us live, and Madison, take us through the timeline. Jabari, the much-discussed lottery bill heads to the House on Tuesday, where it will most likely face many changes. Despite passing in the Senate, the lottery bill is up for discussion and is expected to face multiple amendments. One of the major changes the bill has already seen is the decision to budget a 10% slice of the lottery money towards education. Representative Bill Poole of Tuscaloosa says that while investing in education is a good idea, there are bigger issues. Everybody needs to recognize that the real issue here is um, the general fund and Medicaid and the Department of Corrections. So I, I am pleased to see some education investment as part of the bill as it comes down from the Senate. Uh, but I hope, uh, whatever the form may be, make sure we are able to address those needs. If the bill passes in a committee Tuesday, it will then move to the House Wednesday. There have already been several amendments on the bill, and more are expected to come before it takes its final form. I, I think what everybody needs to remember is there's still a couple steps in this process. We may see some changes, and everybody needs to consider what those are as they look to the final outcome. With so many changes and more to come, the details of the bill and its various parts will be ironed out. Understanding these changes is the next step as the bill moves from the Senate to the House, and at least 63 House members have to support the bill in order for it to pass. I think everybody's trying to determine what exactly those parts are. Uh, there were multiple bills that were pending in the Senate, so everybody in the House now is trying to uh, make sure they understand all the details in the Senate version, and I think the general public is trying to do the same thing. Along with the budgeting for education, the bill also allocates the first $100 million to Medicaid. But for now, reporting live, Madison McLean, WVUA 23 News. All right,